flowers really excite me. Making glaze is one of my passions. And uh, what makes it wonderful is that we grow most of the things we use in our lays. We have some native things that grow on our farm and then of course we have a lot of the ordinary uh, garden flowers. It started back when I was a, a child, a little girl. My sister and I would sit down and play with flowers. My mother made lays. Whenever my dad went out to work, he would wear a hat and every once in a while she would make him a lay for his hat. It didn't have to be a special occasion or anything like that. And when, when we were little, we used to help my mother in her garden. And her garden was beautiful. It was always full of flowers. And because of that, she allowed us to go in there and, and sort of help ourselves to the flowers. You know, when, whenever I go into the forest to, to pick, different kinds of things to make glaze. There is a definite spiritual feeling when you go into the forest. You enter the forest and you stand there and you look at all the things around you and you, you are in awe of all of these beautiful things. And these things, these, the lehua especially, which is one of my most favorite a material to work with. It's so awesome to have this plant growing especially for me. What do you mean, you know? And then you walk along and you come across a, a stand of fern. So beautiful and lacy and so so inviting, you know, come and get me, pick me, use me. And then I come back into my own garden, I have that same feeling. You know, I get so excited at the flowers that are blooming, especially when someone asks me to make a lay, and I go out and I go, oh, you are in that lay, you are going to be in that lay, this is going to be in that lay. It's very exciting especially when you can walk out into your garden and find it. You can walk out into the forest and collect it. You can create a beautiful lay. You can create beautiful lays. You pick a little of this and a little of that and the excitement starts to, to generate. And you're saying, oh yes, I'm gonna use this. Oh, and I'm gonna use that leaf and I'm gonna use this one here, the buds on this is beautiful too. I'm going to use those. And before you know it, you've got lots of flowers to make your lays with. You know, the giving of the lay is, is wonderful. Take graduation when they have high school graduation especially. And people go out and they collect flowers and make all these lays. And it's important for the graduate that if they get lays only up to here, or up to here, or up above the head where they have to take them off and put them on their arm, and then, then the lays begin to pile up again, you know, and then they have to take it off and have somebody, very important for the, for the person, the graduate. But it's, it's, and it is still the giving of the lay. The giving of the lay is, is wonderful. It's a, 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 a wonderful experience to receive the lays and to, um, to give a lay. You know, with the Hawaiians, they gave lays, it was a spontaneous thing. It was a thing where they, they, they wanted to honor somebody and they would give them a lay. And it, sometimes they were very special lays. But most of the time, they could make a lay out of anything and give it to whomever they wished. They made lays out of everything. They would walk through the forest and they would pick up fern and gingers. Uh, I mean, the, the young man would, would walk through the forest. He's going to go and, and see his, his sweetheart. And on the way he thinks, ah, oh, look at the gingers, I'm going to make this lay. So he gets some miley and some fern and he 
huckles that lay together, where you braid it all together. You don't need any of this to hold it together. You just braid it as you go along, pick the flowers, put it in, you know. And then when he gets to his girlfriend's house, he walks into the house, he greets everyone, and he gives this lay to the grandmother, not to his, his girlfriend, not to his sweetheart. Because if you're in with the grandmother, you've got it made. The lays were made for the, uh, for the hula, very important in hula. In the halal, they would honor Laka by, they had an altar for Laka. And they would go out and their favorite lay was the lehua, the red lehua, the yellow lehua, the maile, the palapalai fern. Very fragrant, wonderful material to work with. They would make these lays and present it to Laka on the altar. Um, the kahunas would wear a special lei. They would take the tea leaf, split the tea leaf in half, and tie a knot on either end, stems, and wear it around themselves. There. Is that good, or is that good?